Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. Derek, uh, in this life we find things that are very precious to us, whether it be uh, a, a newborn baby or uh, a puppy or our different materialistic things we find, we hold and we find as precious. Uh, but Derek, what, are some of, what is something that is very precious to, to you? Well, when I think about my life, I've been blessed in, in numerous ways. Uh, God has definitely blessed me in my life. Uh, one of my greatest blessings, uh, definitely outside of baptism and yeah. being part of this church, uh, would have to be my wife. Um, it's something that, or she is something, not it. She is something <laughs> that I, I cherish, and it, the relationship that we have together is something that I, it's really hard to put into words. I'm stumbling through my words now because there are just so many aspects of marriage, and I'm finding a good wife and finding a godly wife that really adds to your life, and not only to your physical life, but to your spiritual life. And so let's go to Proverbs 31 today, because this is gonna help us to see kind of what this uh, should look like as far as in, in our relationships, who we're seeking after. And, and this, this both applies uh, to, to men and to women as far as seeking after that righteous person, that, that good person. But the qualities listed here in this woman, in Proverbs chapter 31, are what we call as virtuous. We call, mm -hmm. we call her the virtuous woman. And it says there in verse 10, it says an excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. And I think you and I would both agree yep. that, that in our wives, we, we consider them more precious than anything else uh, that, we, that we have, that we've been a part of in our entire lives. Now what's interesting to, to note is King Lemuel, he is here and he has heard the words of his mother. Now, when I was a child, and our a teenager and my mom gave me advice about dating. I didn't usually listen to it. I didn't listen to it. And she said, you know, this girl was really sweet. She's really nice. I, I wasn't thinking about that. You know, when you hear someone say, well, she has a good personality. Well, to a, to a middle school and high school, a uh, young man or young woman, uh, that sounds like, you know, you know, uh, that's she, lower on the, that's priority. Low, lower on the <laughs> priority list, you know, but it shouldn't be. A good, per, a good personality, a good character, that's what we should be looking for. And that's what I believe that, that I found in my wife. And so we see this in verse 10, and it, it's far more precious than jewels. It says, the heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. We should be able to trust our spouse. We should be able to trust even those that we're dating. Uh, you know, if, if you're not yet married and you're dating someone, you should be able to trust them. If she does, uh, does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. That is something that's really important. Someone that's willing to work, that's not lazy, that's not just sitting back idly and doing nothing, that they're they're working. Uh, you notice this, that th this work is, is tough. She says, she's like ships of merchant and she brings her food from afar. She rises while it's still yet night and provides food for her household and portions for her maidens. She considers a field and buys it with a fruit of her hand. She plants a vineyard. This woman here is capable, is able. She can go out, she can work in any way that, that she can, and she can do so many things. And that's a wonderful thing, but notice she works. She puts in that effort, and, and, and that's what she is like. She dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. She perceives that her merchandise is profitable. Her lamp does not go out. You notice when it talks about how she looks, it's more talking about her strength. It's talking about yeah. her character. It's not talking about her outward appearance. It's talking about, about what kind of work ethic she has and what where she really puts her faith in. So she puts her hands to the staff and she holds her, uh, her, and her hands hold the spindle. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. Uh, you know, she's benevolent. She's someone that's generous and is kind. Um, it says she is not afraid uh, of snow for her household for all her household are clothed in scarlet. She makes bed coverings for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits down, when he sits among the elders in the land. You know, there's so many things you could mention about this woman. We're not going to read them all, mm -hmm. but you see strength. That's what it says in verse 25. Strength and dignity are her clothing. Uh, and she laughs at, uh, at the time to come. You know, she is somebody that's wise. She's someone that's going to be teaching. She's kind. All these things are so important. Her children look up to her. And then, and then you, you, you come on down. And you see this in verse, um, verse 20 and 29, you see that, her, and her husband also, he, he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, 
but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gate. See, this woman is known by her character. Yeah. She's known by her work ethic. She's known by those things that she do, does in life. And Logan, can you think of anything in this life outside of being a Christian and you know being part of the church? Can you think of anything more precious than that? I can't, Derek. I mean, it, I, I love my wife. I've only been married just a couple <laughs> months, uh, but I appreciate her so much and just the the spiritual example that she is to me. It, it's so important, and I think that as people that are married, as people that are not married, seek somebody that is virtuous. Or if you are married, seek to be virtuous. Whether you're man or woman, we, we seek to be that kind of person because that kind of person is going to work hard. That kind of person is going to seek after God.